can tell from here or not but that's my new extruder I designed a brand new extruder this is gonna be a different design right now I have a geared extruder that has almost no lash and I like to keep it that way I got better quality that way but this thing is not exactly perfect and uh, it, it needs some constant tweaking this and that I don't like it all that much but it was my first version so the next version of my personal designed extruder is going to be belt driven zero backlash very compact two to one gearbox basically doubles the torque half the rpm i have the option of going to two and a half to one as well if i change the pulley sizes but for now, 2 to 1 is going to be fine. If I find I need more power, I'll do um, 2.5 to 1. We'll see. And uh, actually, my other videos show this monstrosity. This was my first forte into designing an extruder. This is a 1.75 to 1, 1.77, something along those lines. Uh, to one so It's actually not a bad design per se. It's a lot better than a direct drive but It's it's wearing and tearing and uh, These uh, slanted gears this thing has are really chewing up those bearings So I'm printing out a brand new one Before this thing gives up the ghost and I have to buy new bearings. I bought other bearings for the other one it's not gonna have this issue this one also the tolerances inside are um, well the filament can actually bend that one is gonna actually have filament uh, guides all the way to the actual gear and no I will not be using a hobbled bolt I'm using a precision machined um, gear actually it's not a gear, it's a Mark 8 extruder hobble, but it's actually a lot more precision machine than I haven't seen any really precision machine, the hobble bolts. So I'm doing away with the bolt idea altogether. This is going to be my design, it's a beta 3 version so far. Uh, the new one is, if, all, if it checks out, it'll be a version 1 of uh, my extruder I think it's it takes a lot of uh, designs that are out there uh, I've modified it to my own tastes my own wants my own budget and um, size I might actually go dual head on this printer so having a consistent extruder that I can get parts for is a good thing uh, the gears on the one that I originally designed, well, it's a one-off. Uh, I'd have to find exactly what printer these things came out of and try to... Uh, it's not worth it. And plus the precision of me printing out adapters for these gears, so on and so forth. It wasn't really ideal, so I think I'm going to continue with this. Uh, I'm using 0.3 millimeter. Um, layers simply because it doesn't need to be pretty it just needs to be functional and you take a look over here yeah that's about 45% done in 47 minutes it was estimating around two hours worth of print time. I somehow doubt that. I'm going to leave the camera here ne near the printer and see how it looks like. And a lot of people actually have not seen my printer in action from far away. So I figured what the heck. 
and that's my printer it's actually rather large it is rather large and tall uh, I still haven't uh, put the heated chamber on this thing yet uh, I'm procrastinating on that I guess I think after the holidays I'll probably put the heated chamber on when I start printing out some really large parts I'm gonna need the heated chamber for that and as you can tell this is my home built Delta ain't she pretty alrighty talk to you later Hey, look, my extruder body finished, the idler holder, I guess, got sliced badly. I've been having this problem with Cora lately, where it's cutting objects off. As you can actually see, instead of printing the whole thing with the support material in it, so I'm re-slicing that, I'm going to print it again, doesn't matter. This part... Print it out nicely and time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. That's the body. I gotta clean the rest of it off and I'll show you guys in a couple of minutes. So, this is what it looks like. Cleaned it up. That's going to be my new extruder. I'll show you guys how it looks like when it's done.